Hello, I'm Dani. Welcome to the workshop. Today I will show you how to check the capabilities of your 3D printer, how to make modules which will be 3D printed and what to consider as very basic uh, rules when you create a model that is supposed to be a 3D printed. Before you start printing, it's good to prepare your printer to have an optimal great print and to know the capabilities of your machine. To check the capabilities of your machine, you can visit some website like thingiverse.com from MakerBot, search for 3D printer test and you will have different models that are for test of your 3d printer i will advise you to look at uh, models with degrees of overhang bridges gaps and you will once you will uh, you will print this model you will know the capabilities of your printer how much it's shrinking how accurate it's on sizes and how it reacts to different shapes after this test print you will know better how to prepare your models for 3D print. Once you know the capabilities of your 3D printer, it's good to level it perfectly. I assume you have already leveled your bed. You should pay enough attention to this step. It's very important to have a well-leveled bed, but it's good also to level your printer. A lot of printers don't have an option to be leveled, but the good thing is you can always print yourself something like this that I was create I have created with which you can level your printer. On this model I will show you also some of the important things about 3D printing and preparation for 3D printing. First we're starting with the base. This base from one side will will be threaded so you can adjust the level and from the other side it will carry part of the weight of the printer. You have, you need to have it thick enough to be able to handle this load and I would recommend a minimum thickness of 5 mm. If you want to, ha to have more adjustment you can change this to 10 but this will increase also your print time. For this part, it's also very important to print it on 100% fill, so it's strong and it's not breaking. If we have a look on the model again, I have here a diameter of 30 mm inside, in which I will make a thread, 42 outer diameter and thickness of 5 mm. Next, we will need some stopping face for the sides of the printer so we don't lose our part somewhere under the printer itself. For this walls here, 2 mm of thickness is enough. 2 mm for PLA is strong enough to hold without any bending. If you're printing from ABS, you may need to increase a little bit the thickness of the wall. What is also very important is to have a longer continuous line to print so this corner here is not breaking. The next step is to make it a bit nicer and reduce the printer time. That's why I'm adding these fillets here. And then I'm making the base of the other part which will be also for, actually for our leveling. When we have a look on the sketch, I have this part one millimeter smaller diameter than the other one because we will put a thread. Thread has also overhangs and we want this to move smoothly two parts between each other. So if your thread is not working well, it's too loose once you print the first one, you can adjust the value of this diameter here to be better for your printer. The total height of the thread is a little bit more than 
the moving area inside the plate, the base plate. And also I add another five millimeters thickness here because again, this will carry the weight of the print. Then I use the standard SOLIDWORKS feature for threads to model thread. Pick a one which is with big pitch. In my case, I have picked a thread with pitch of two because this thread should be also strong. It carries also the weight of your printer. And you should consider that printing thread is not so easy task for the printer. You have, as I said, a big overhangs. The bigger thread always leads to a better result than a small one. The last things are some adjustments for easier grip of the part and I put some additional fillets here, here for nice finish. Once your parts are ready, you can export them one by one and print them. This face here should be toward the print bed and you print it like this. And the same is for the other part. This is on the printer bed and it prints in that direction. Now your printer is set and you're ready to make most amazing prints ever. Don't forget to give a like to the video if you enjoy it and I hope I will see you next time. Bye!